Hi guys, it's Carissa, and I am here to do my fan fun box from the Ticklish Giraffe. And yes, I did remove the outer wrapping on this, but I have not opened this box, even though it was really tempting. I am a little bit late doing this this month because it arrived while I was out of town. But Julia and Ed are now on their vacation. I hope you guys have a lot of fun. But I am going to finally dig into this. And I can already tell just from the little sticker that I love the theme. Step right up. Life is a circus and we're all stuck in the freak show. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Oh, Boz wants to sit with me. This is not this is not what you think it is. I'm so sorry. He's gonna hang out just in case there's some edible soap in here or something, I think. Okay, ready? <gasps> Ta-da! Ooh! Hello there. So here is the what is this? Press me. Welcome to the most fun box on earth. What? Are you ready for this? Oh, I'm not, obviously. I can't believe how cute that is. Annoy Mike so much with that little button. I just <laughs> I'm push it until it doesn't work anymore. Oh my gosh, that is I've never seen anything like that before. I'm done. I'm done. Okay, I'm too I was too excited. I was getting sweaty. So here's all the information on this super adorable card. Look at that. And Lucy, this is not for doggies. And it's Lucy's turn to check stuff out. She didn't believe me. That's not for dogs. And as always, there is a coupon code included in the box, which is good for purchase in the shop, but it's not good on the boxes or shipping, right? Make sure it's uh, good for an order of 550 or more, and it can't be combined with other coupons. Yeah, there you go. And don't abuse it. It's very nice to get a coupon code, but don't be a jerk. Just use it once and just do what you're supposed to, okay? Spoken like a true Etsy shop owner. <laughs> All right, guys. Have I babbled long enough? It's been like five minutes. Oh, no. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> it makes me so mad. <laughs> Look. Okay. So, this is the inside. It's a very well color coordinated, if you ask me. And I just. All right. So, okay. So here's a little ticket, here's our circus ticket. Stop, and it has a little scratch off on the back. Scratch here to see if you are an instant winner. If there's a code, you won $25 at the Ticklish Giraffe Etsy shop. Just enter your code at checkout. If there isn't a code, don't feel bad, we can't all be winners. It says there are three winners um, for this month, so should I, you guys wanna? It's got a mustache and it says try again. That is so, so cute. Let's get to the products, shall we? So the first thing on the list says giraffe jelly foot soak. Sorry about all the dog tap dancing going on in the background right now. They have a bad case, I can't handle it. I'll give them a treat when I'm done. Should I just give you guys a treat now? You guys want a treat? Okay, I give them a treat so I could get some peace and quiet. Oh, and here comes normal. <laughs> is everybody? Did you hear that? Just when I was gonna ask if everybody <laughs> was like satisfied so I could do this for a minute, my stomach growled really loudly. <laughs> oh, all right, that will definitely have to wait. Anyway, as I was saying, the first item on the list is the giraffe jelly foot soak. And jelly is spelled with a G just like giraffe because that's adorable. Um, that is here. Ooh, and it's in like a little shaker set. Activator and dissolving powder. Ooh, that is science. Put the monkeys to bed and kick back in the most fun soak on earth. Leafy olive branches, mixing it up with lemon and bergamot. This is a full size. I love bergamot. 
I'm gonna try and open this so I can smell it without spilling it all over the dining room. But Mike's not here, so I probably won't. I swear I'm way clumsier when he's here to witness it. Ooh. Okay, that's not even what I was picturing it would smell like. It smells like... It is. It's kind of grassy smelling, which I love. I'm definitely picking up on Rose also, which I really love. So this I'm looking forward to. Although, it's a sprinkle activator into a gallon of warm water in a basin. Swirl and soak your Tootsies. It can take up to five minutes to fully activate. At the end of the soak, add dissolving agent and watch as it turns back into a liquid. Wait 10 minutes to dissolve and simply flush to dispose. A small amount of remaining gel is safe to flush. Do not use in bathtub or jetted basin. Dry feet, they can become slippery. Good to know. I was gonna say, I might just stick this in my tub. I'm glad I read that. <laughs> It's a clown nose. I bought one of these for the Red Nose Day campaign. Well, I made a donation for Walgreens and I gave it to my nieces. I thought it was pretty hilarious. <laughs> I think this is a really good look. Ooh, next is a roller perfume. Oh, look at the package. Flying Trapeze Perfume Roller. Bubblegum, cotton candy, juicy apples, and pears crammed together with sugared candy lemon drops, juggling some Madagascar vanilla. Stop. You will be reaching new heights, full size. I am such a fan of perfume rollers lately. That's been my thing in the last few years. Look at this. It has the little trapeze broad and the you know, trapeze, <laughs> is that what that's called? Or the swing? Is trapeze what they're doing? I don't know. And look at the bottle. Whoa, okay, ooh. It has almost like a, the vanilla makes it almost kind of have like a fruity creme brulee scent, like a really rich, not at all what I was picturing, but so good. Oh, send in the clowns, tubby tornado. Look at this. That not, so I, like, I don't understand. I don't know the intricacies behind making something like this, but this seems complicated to me to create a stars and stripes pattern on a bath bomb. I got one of the galaxy ones from the shop. I bought it for my nieces and I also purchased the one that says POW on it in glitter letters, like superhero style. So that's right up there with this, honestly. But it's so fun. Color bursting like shooting a man out of a cannon. Caramel glazed popcorn. Warm taffy apples. Yes, just so much yes. And this is also a full size. I can't smell that, but I wish I could. Not my circus, not my monkeys. Luxury bath oil. There's a little elephant on it. Lime, pineapple, raspberry. We are not monkeying around here. Oh yeah, I wanna drink that, don't drink it. So I know I'm not in the bath or anything, but I'm gonna use this tonight for sure. I just wanna. It kind of reminds me of being a little kid in the summertime and having dirty feet and running around and running around the yard with those freezer ice popsicles, those like long popsicles that you squeeze in the tube. It is tragic that I can't make you smell my hand right now. <laughs> it smells it smells like just carefree youth and happiness. Dead Ed Wax Melt. Ooh, we get more. Uh, by the way, follow up. That root beer float one, I think that's what the, fla the flavor was. The scent was. Um, with the little star, the little like confetti stars on it. That went over very well in this house. We were really sad when we got, when we ran out of that. Mike really enjoyed it too. It kind of made me, I think, 
go, get on a little bit of a root beer kick because I was buying diet root beer for like three or four weeks during the time <laughs> we were using that every time I went to the grocery store. And I mean, I like that okay, but I, I think that that influenced me quite a bit. So. Side shop pop. Caramel, salt, sweet, delicious, craving it, popcorn. Is this a popcorn? Like a sweet and salty popcorn scent? Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. How does it smell like popcorn? It smells like popcorn. It smells really buttery and a little bit sweet. And it, it smells like popcorn. And I don't know if you know this, but popcorn is one of our favorite things. And Mike has a tiny bowl of it almost every night after dinner. So again, you just really, you just, you hit us right where, where we live with this one. And I got four uses out of the last one. This is actually a pretty generous size. And I just broke it up into little, I used a butter knife and I just broke it up into little wedges. And I got four, not four uses, but four individual like cubes that I could use. So it lasted us a really long time. This is going to be like the fragrance soundtrack to the rest of our summer. <laughs> and is that a thing? What's the equivalent to a soundtrack when you're talking about a scent? I know there must be a word for it. Adorable. And lastly, it says peanut hand soaps, just because we can. Ooh, I spit. Sorry, did I spit on you? So look, it looks like a little old-fashioned bag of peanuts. Look at that. It has a little circus tent sticker on the back. Fresh roasted peanuts. <laughs> look at these. They're, <laughs> they're shaped like peanuts. There's three different colors. Every time, every time, I'm like, this can't get better. And it does, ooh, it smells a little bit like peanuts, unless that's just, or maybe it's cocoa butter I'm smelling. Let me pull these little guys out of here. So they're kind of almost like in camouflage colors here. We've got a nude color, a brown, and like an army green. Peanut mustache, just very clean, soapy scent to it but a little bit like rich and milky like a cocoa butter, which might also be where I was picking up some peanut scent. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Julianne Ed. I hope you had a really great vacation. And if you want to get a ticklish, oh, this is just silly, sorry. If you want to get a um, fan fun box just for yourself or as a gift, I'll put the links um, below and any of the information you might need. And I also have previous videos where I've opened up other boxes in case you're curious what else I've received. But I absolutely love it and I'm just so grateful that I get the opportunity to try these things and to share them with you guys because it it really does, th these things just tickle me and this is an aptly named Etsy shop. So if you'd like to support a really awesome small business with some really caring, wonderful people behind it, look no further. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.